I'm sitting in a Harris Teeter grocery store parking lot. <laughs> and I'm doing this intro to this video, which I'm going to chop up a little bit, but I'm going to show you guys some real horrible shit. So get ready. Um, I had probably the worst match of my life. Um, uh, this two gun iron sight challenge thing we did with YouTube and, and, and believe me, the, the, the silver lining to this was I got to shoot with all my friends and team taco power factor was there and it, we started in the rain, but it finished uh, beautiful weather. So I, I, and it was a good day on the range with some awesome people. And, um, you know, I learned some things that's the upside, but Man, oh man, oh man, let's let's start with the first stage of the day. The hard lean left just wrecked my whole deal. I could not get a sight picture, and I think I, en yeah, I ended up having a no shoot on that stage, so it just started the day off bad, and I was already like 10 seconds down on guys that were running that stage, so. And bye! The next stage, <laughs> um, I think it was the next stage. It was a simple stage. Shoot rifle, mag change to this box, shoot rifle, shoot pistol, shoot and go and shoot. And it was just, I was like, okay, I'm going to get back on track here. Well, I decided to change calibers mid stage. <laughs> and you're probably saying, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I found a way to put a 300 blackout magazine full of ammo into my mag uh pout into my into my 556 thing and so i shot my targets and i ran over there and i was making good time and i shoved a 300 blackout mag in there i took one shot and it locked and then the next one didn't go into battery because it's 300 blackout and i was doing my remediation and s slapping and fucking <laughs> and it was just terrible and then all of a sudden cuddle boy 32 is behind me he's like 300 blackout and i'm like what the hell are you talking about so I looked at it, I'm like, holy shit. So luckily he had a magazine and he literally gave me the magazine and I finished the stage. So Bye. You don't think there's a squib in there, do you? You run a 300 blackout and that shit. Fuck. Yeah, that's a 300 blackout uh, mag. So. Never mix your ammo. So from stage one stumble to stage two completely off the rails, it just wasn't going good. And then stage three, uh, I ended up having a really good stage, but I I shot another no shoot. So it adds like five seconds of time. So it, if I go and look at stage by stage, that's probably my best stage. And then I'm going, that is not a range equipment failure. I'm just running, even if it opens, just going. What the hell are you doing? Get away from me, kid. Nice. All right, clear the rage. Good lord, these groupies. Shit. Stop All right. The... Hey, Atlas is offering me a free gun if I do that. And make ready. Y'all good over there? Did y'all paste them? You're pasting. Yeah, okay. Roger, gun. You did say make ready, right? Yeah, make ready. 
Magazine. Toes on mark. Now you ready? Yep. Stand by! Clear. The, the next stage was really the pistol meltdown. I don't know what happened. I shot uh, Low Country USPSA the day before. I I shot, had an awesome match with the pistol. I don't know what happened to me with the pistol, but um, and I shot the rifle really well. So you start, you shoot everything, and I shot all my steels and I got all my hits. I shot the rifle clean with iron sights, long range, and I'm like hell yeah. Then I drew the pistol and I had. I shot two, one and a half, I shot 30 rounds at, I think it's uh, Dueling Tree 6, 7, 8, 9, tens. I shot 30 rounds at 10 pieces of steel. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. Shut up, asshole. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Come on, damn it. Fuck. Well, I guess you answered that. And then the next stage was one of the gullies, and I ran down, um, uh, I shot, I kind of tried to game it a little bit, I, I drew my pistol, and I shot some of the, uh, the activator and some of the pistol, and um, then I shot the rifle, but then at the end, the, there was the first time I saw those six inch plates, those really, really tough six inch plates, at 80, 90 yards, or whatever the hell it was, and I couldn't see them. They had been shot all day and they don't repaint them and they were gray and the background was, you know, whatever. And I was like, I almost wanted to stop and ask the RO, did they reset the plates? It was literally that bad. So I don't, I don't want to shoot iron sights, at least not there anymore because you, you just can't see the target. So I sprayed 30 rounds at that plate rack. I could see the steel on the bottom. So I was just throwing rounds um, at the at the plate rack and I ended up getting I think three of them so <laughs> all right let's go shooter give me now when you're ready right. stand by Come on. 
Can't see him. Hot. Three more. <laughs> Dude, I, w I wasn't even... If you are finished, I'm going to clear. Walk back and back up. That was good. That was good. <laughs> but then the last stage of the day was all the way around onto the other trench, and I ran the rifle fine. I think I ended up getting three plates over there too. Same situation. Just wasn't going to happen. And then the pistol over there, I think I ran it pretty good. A couple makeups on Steve. Are you ready? Rob, look at the target. Stand by. Oh, you bastard! Oh, you cocksucker! <laughs> <laughs> that was the last bullet I had. Excellent. Hear the rifle? The rifle's clear. Oh, okay. But at the end of the time, end of the day, I want to congratulate um, Coda Boy Thirty Two. He had a strong match, man. He really he 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 plowed through that match really, really well. He is a rifleman. And that's really, really my my weakness. And he he t he he called he called and, and um, asked me. He's like, hey, just between you and me, what 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 happened today? I, you know, um, I'm nobody's hero. You know, I'm not. I'd shoot USPSA pretty well, but I'm not. I'm not a magic guy with a gun. You know, I'm just a regular dude that loves competition. And sometimes I shoot well, and sometimes I shoot bad. So that is what it is. And I texted him back and I said, um, you know what? Today was a great day. Um, I learned some things that I have to work on. Again, my grip and steel and gripping the gun different and pulling the trigger different with steel is something I have to work on, even from USPSA. But um, I, I know that um, the joy of the shooting sports is more about the results. And you learn that on the day that you really wreck the shit out of a uh, uh, out of a match. You look back on the match and you're just disgusted with yourself. But at the same time, at that moment, you got to go. Well, what what were the highlights? Well, the highlights were having all my friends there. Um, you know, guys that <laughs> sometimes have their own struggles. But you know, you're happy. You're happy for your friends when they do well. You know what I mean? And um, my buddy, um, John, Team Taco Power Factor uh, Patriarch, he had a really solid match. I think it was his first time shooting PCC. I don't know how much he likes two-gun, but maybe he'll shoot the PCC in a USPSA match. I don't know. He did really, really well. I think he did really, really well. When you're shooting PCC at a two- or three-gun match, sometimes you have to shoot way out, and that's really difficult. And he didn't, he didn't hit those very well, but 
I mean, that's to be expected. It's really hard to do. So I just want to make this video as a recap. But anyway, just a recap of the um, YouTube uh, Iron Sight Challenge. Congrats to Rick. He did really well. He kicked my ass. Oh, and I want to mention Roger. Man, I he was his con, uh, uh, TR prepper. He was as calm and cool and collected all day long. When it was time to shoot, he was like, okay. And he just got his shit, went up there and shot. And, man, I, you know, I, to this day, when I've done so many matches, I've probably, I don't know how many, 100, uh, no, 50 or 60 or so matches. I still get amped up and, you know, I'm not nervous, but I'm like I'm pumped, you know. And he was just calm and hell. And it was, it was awesome to see him cool. And he really, really did well. Uh, but congrats to Rick. He uh, beat me by a lot of time, like I think over a minute. And then Coda Boy 32, I think, took it uh, a little deeper, and he got the win. And we don't consider X Ring part of the challenge because he's he's special. He 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 won. He legitimately won the Iron Sight Challenge. But <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna take him off off the table and give uh, give uh, Coda Boy Thirty Two the win for the um, team train wreck. The team train wreck win. So congrats to him. But you guys get out get out there and shoot something. Um, uh, enjoy the shooting sports. The the highs and lows don't matter. It's everything in between that makes it special.